Good afternoon, 11th graders. Let's review the Poke Words week of 1019. Gotta catch them all. All right. Now, all of you should be using this to revise your Poke Words so that you can catch and master all of the Poke Words. Now, number one, ignominious means deserving or causing public disgrace or shame, right? In Animal Farm, Squealer says, that Snowball was ignominiously kicked out of Animal Farm. That Snowball was disgraced and shamed by Napoleon. At least that's what Squealer says. And then I'm looking at Adrian Deitas to show you some of these answers, right? Adrian Deitas said, as the young man suffered an ignominious defeat, he regretted challenging the old man. Right. Uh, another way, you, another way you might use this word is um, when I was playing Call of Duty against my friend, I suffered an ignominious defeat because I got defeated a hundred to zero. That would be a disgraceful, shameful defeat. Okay. Now the word cynical. Believing that people are motivated by self-interest, distrustful of human sincerity or integrity. And I also really liked Adrian's example sentence for, for this one here, right? The woman berated the man for not pitching in more money, even as he tried to explain he was in a tough spot. <clears throat> the people around noticed her cynical behavior. So basically, in this sentence, this woman is um, acting cynical, cynically uh, because she's um, assuming that this person must be acting out of self-interest even though he is, because he's not putting in more money into something. Let's say he's not putting in more money into a tip jar even though this person is in a tough spot financially. <clears throat> Another way, uh, you know, a clearer way you might define this word is to, you might use this word is to say, um, uh, Benjamin the donkey, Benjamin the donkey in Animal Farm, he's cynical because he never gets excited about the windmill. He thinks, you know what, this windmill isn't gonna improve anyone's life. I am distrustful of this windmill, I, and I do not trust that it's going to benefit us in any way. So he is a pessimist and is cynical. Flourish. Um, this could show what flourish means, but I, so I'll, I, I will say flourish um, means to grow or develop in a, in a healthy way. So you might say, once I began to water the flowers regularly, the flowers began to flourish. Number four. So this is actually two words, two different parts of speech. So the adjective is elaborate. Elaborate is the adjective. And that's a descriptive word that means involving many carefully arranged parts or details, right? Just like this example sentence, the boy produced an elaborate plan to get his toy back from his parents' drawer. And again, I wanna, I, I'm, I'm choosing this one because for the most part, Adrian did an excellent job at these example sentences. So, this doesn't exactly show us what the definition is, but kind of, because I think, you know, we can imagine this boy creating a carefully arranged, detailed plan to get his toy back, right? This also could mean the verb elaborate. So the, the adjective elaborate, the verb elaborate, Right? The verb elaborate um, means to, to explain and to add detail to. So um, if my friend told me, 
this flavor of ice cream is good. I might say, could you please elaborate on what makes the ice cream flavor good? And he would say, well, the ice cream flavor is good because it has chocolate chips and caramel and it's made fresh every day. And he would have elaborated on what makes the ice cream good. Okay, obstinate. Obstinate means stubborn. It means you refuse to change your opinion, no matter how much people try to persuade you. So for example, um, let's say you have a friend who absolutely refuses to try broccoli, has never eaten it before and refuses to try it. And you try to persuade your friend, hey man, you should try broccoli, it's fantastic. And your friend is, he re your friend refuses, he is obstinate in his refusal to try broccoli. Impromptu means done without being planned, organized, or rehearsed. So if something happens um, suddenly, if something happens suddenly without any planning, you would say it is impromptu, right? So when the teenager got home late, he made, <laughs> he had to make up an impromptu lie to avoid getting in trouble. This was an interesting one. Um, <laughs> yeah, so this definitely shows us what impromptu means because, you know, if, if a teenager were to like get home late, past curfew, for example, the person might make up a lie on the spot to avoid getting in trouble. Like, oh, my phone died. I'm so sorry. That's why I got home at 4 a.m. Um, or we, we decided to take an impromptu trip to Nevada without any planning. We just got in the car randomly and drove there. Vivacious means lively and animated. So you might say, for example, um, that person um, is an actress and is very gregarious and is, you know, very, very gregarious, like fills the room with life, likes to spend time around people. That person is vivacious, like viva, full of life. Vivacious literally means full of life. Counteract. Um, to counteract simply means to act against. Right? An example of what someone else wrote was, we should counteract COVID-19 by developing a vaccine. <clears throat> Absolutely. So if you counteract something, you are acting against it. Capitulate. To cease to resist an opponent or an unwelcome demand. To surrender. Cap capitulate means surrender. And I, I really liked, you know, I'll, I'll showcase again Adrian's example. With all the guns pointed at the robber, he had no choice but to capitulate. Right? So, for example, you might say, in World War II, eventually the Nazis were forced to capitulate. Right? Were forced to surrender. And lastly, cunning. Who's cunning in Animal Farm? Squealer. Squealer is cunning. Absolutely. You might say Napoleon is cunning as well. Why? What does cunning mean? It means having or showing skill in achieving one's ends. That means one's goals. So basically, having skill in achieving one's goals by deceit or evasion. So someone is cunning if that person is able to achieve their goals by deceiving or manipulating other people or evading questions, right? So Squealer is definitely cunning because he is able to show skill 
in achieving his goals and Napoleon's goals by manipulating the animals or by deceiving the animals. That's all for now, folks. I expect you now to revise your example sentences if you need to. See you soon.